Hi everyone, welcome back to uh, my channel The Expat and welcome to Bali. I think this is the first video I've done that's not a travel related video or me traveling around getting somewhere. Um, today's video will be an empties video of all the products that I've completed using and what I will be potentially repurchasing. Aside from that, I just wanted to quickly go through my face at the moment. Um, this is a pure makeup y video, so I will tell you what I'm wearing and I'll link it below as well exactly what products I'm using um, and hopefully a link to an Australian retailer that you can buy online from because I know that for me when I view videos there's not enough showing the Australian sites that you can purchase these products from so just quickly um, my primer today is the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer I believe it's like the pinkish one I know there's a few from Urban Decay but that's the one I'm using currently and my actual foundation is the um, Burberry uh, Fresh Glow Foundation. Um, super uh, good for this weather because it's light um, and it's glowy so it makes your skin just pop and look fresh. And on top of that I've set my foundation with the Chanel Le Beige powder uh, and under my eyes the concealer I've used is the Too Faced Born This Way one which is fabulous. As well as that, I've got the By Terry um, Summer Palette. I think they release once a year, and I think there's a couple of different versions of it, but I think mine's the Savannah Love, and that's used to do a light contour. In this climate, a heavy contour will not help you, because um, as the day wears on, your makeup will start to f feel a bit less fresh, and yeah, you'll, you'll notice it right away, because you're sweating a bit, and you're hot, that the makeup won't last as long. Uh, aside from that, I've got the Dior Luminizer um, 002 as my highlighter, as well as I think it's the Coco Cabana um, NARS uh, liquid um, highlight as well. So the two of them definitely give you a super highlight. Um, the 002 is strong enough, but I feel like because I'm not wearing a heavy contour, that a, hi a strong highlight is probably best. Yes eyes highlighter so that's what I'm wearing. For the eyes I've got the Too Faced uh, Better Than Sex Mascara um, that's super good for this weather and it gives volume and you don't have to wear a whole lot of it to get that volume. Um, brows are the Anastasia um, Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, um, a go-to for me and the clear gel on top to set it. So those two together are fabulous. I do use Benefit as well but I always seem to go back to the Anastasia stuff so um, and for the lips, I've got the Huda Beauty Spice Girl Lip Liner and then that's filled in with the Laura Mercier Cream Lipstick um, and that's Spice Rose, I believe. So all my liquid lipsticks have been shelved for a bit because I think they're drying out my lips in this weather. So I tried, it didn't work, so that's, yeah. Aside from that, yeah, and then obviously I've had my skincare done underneath, but I'll do a separate skincare video to show all that sort of stuff as well. What I will do is probably show you guys a video of how I prepare for the day for the climate. Um, there's certain tricks I use like setting it properly, um, baking a little bit under the eye and definitely using a good setting spray uh, as well as like a mist throughout the day. There's hydrating mist that you can buy. I think a lot of brands do them now. Um, use it through the day and it just keeps your makeup looking fresh or as much as it can be fresh when you're sweating on a motorbike or wearing a helmet and sunglasses. Even that's what I use. Let's get on with what my empties are to, um, this month. So a lot of this stuff is come from Australia as well, um, but there were empties that I had in Australia that I, I'm not going to mention because I don't even have the bottle here. So let's start with first hair. Um, so this is the Evo Fabuloso um, conditioner for the Platinum Bond. I hope you guys can see that. Um, this is what my hairdresser recommends for my hair. My hair is super straight and black black. So. Um, the fact that I went this colour, which is a more blondie, and I probably will go a more platinum blonde. Um, yeah, this is going to keep the colour fresh, and it's also going to make sure that the hair, my actual hair, doesn't, you know, fall out or anything like that. So I wash my hair three to four times a week. I use my normal L'Oreal shampoo, and then I use this once I towel dry and leave it in for a couple of hours, and then wash it out. So this, using this, I would recommend if you're going to use it is you're going to have a couple hours spare to do it. Or well, if you want to go out with this not washed out of your hair, that's fine too. But I tend to do it when I'm just at home, catching up on emails, editing videos, etc. So this is, yeah, my go-to for my hair. 
Um, so that's empty. Um, so this has already been reordered and it's already arrived at my house in Melbourne because I'll be back in Melbourne next week. So um, I'm already ready to start my uh, conditioning routine next week when I'm back home. As well as that, um, this is not really an empty, um, but it is hair care related. It's the Bumble and Bubble Surf Infusions Hair Spray, or salt spray, really. So what I do with this is I just have my hair damp or dry, and I just spray it through, and it gives my hair texture, because as I said before, it is super straight, um, and if I leave it with nothing in it, it will just stay straight, and sometimes a bit limp after not washing it for three days. So this gives it a bit of texture, it makes it look heaps better. It is a texture spray, sorry, I called it a hair spray, it's a texture spray. In this travel size, so this is absolutely perfect when I'm traveling back and forth. I think I have the full bottle at home, unless I gave it away to someone. But yeah, the travel size is perfect. So I will be repurchasing a new travel size version of this. I am running low and I bet you by the time I spend a week in Melbourne, I'll probably run out of it. It's not looking like that much is left. So that's all the hair care products. Um, the only other thing for eye makeup I'd recommend, um, or I've emptied really, is the Sephora eye makeup remover. So these are 20 individual cotton swabs that each hold some like makeup remover products. So you click the end cotton bud and then the product drains to the um, other cotton bud um, on the other end and then you use it to touch up makeup, which you made a mistake. So I am currently use this for when I screw up a eye-winged liner look, or I've messed up uh, my mascara that it's uh, actually been put on the top lid. You know how sometimes when it doesn't dry properly, or you don't let it dry enough, and then you look up, the uh, mascara goes to your top lid. So I use this to remove it, so that I don't have to use, like, um, any other makeup removers or cotton pads, etc. So these are just individual and then you just throw them away. Sephora has done a great job and I will be repurchasing back in Melbourne when I hit Sephora up next. Aside from that, I've got some primers now and some face makeup setting spray. So the first one is the uh, Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. This is fantastic. It's the best primer I've ever used. It is luxurious and expensive. So I'm not hugely confident that I will be repurchasing this just because of the price tag. I wanted to try it, everyone said it was fabulous, and it is, but I'm not sure I'm willing to pay this price because I think there are other primers that could be out there that are great, and I've, I still have my Laura Mercier primer that is still good. I mean, it's not like this, but it's still very, very good. So I think I might stick to that one at the moment. I'm going to finish that one up before I even try repurchasing this one. I have a lot of primers and I tend to rotate depending on the weather. So I'll maybe stick to the Laura Mercier one at this stage. So that's that. Um, talking about primers, um, I told you for my face today, I've used the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. Um, this is a very, very mini version of it. I think I got it free in a Mecca Beauty Pack um, as a member. So I've been trying this out to see if it's, it's good and if I need to replace the hourglass one, if this can be the replacement for it. Um, I'm not sure how expensive it is, so I'll go and see Mecca. If it's similar price, then I probably won't pick it up. But at the moment, I am actually really liking this. It's actually very smooth and I can feel it is a good base for my makeup. So this has been so far so good and it's coming to the end of its mini, mini size. So it's, I think it's five mil you get. So once I finish this, I probably either will pick up this in a full size or just stick to the Laura Mercier one, as I said. So hopefully it's cheap. Um, the last one I've got is an oldie but a goodie. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray in the travel size as well. I'm loving travel size products. Because I know I'm traveling, I'm favoring them. And I actually bought two of these already. So. I already have one ready to go and I know I would repurchase this one. As I said, in this climate, you need to set your makeup really well. I set with a loose setting powder under the eyes and I spray with this. And then as I said before, I use a mist every couple of hours during the day when I'm out and about. It just makes the makeup so much better. So this is a definite repurchase, or I have repurchased it anyways. And I'm, yeah, I don't have anything bad to say about these, this product. Um, I know there are other versions of this that have, uh, I think there's another version of this, and I haven't tried it yet, but I'm always sticking true to this one. 
so those are all my empties for this month and hopefully I'll have some more empties um, over the next couple months. I don't think I'll have one every month for you guys because I don't think I go through product that quickly. Um, I swap and change with makeup so I experiment with it and I maybe spend a month using two months using something and then I might stop it again um, just to keep things fresh and because I buy a lot of makeup so there's a lot of different products that I could use at home so and I tend to buy new products on top of that so that just adds to the collection of stuff that I've got um, so there yeah, that's it really so I hope you guys enjoyed that video and um, please subscribe below um, and I will link all the makeup products below as well so you guys have it I hope to see you guys next time bye guys